Hi fellow reefers, I'm Eddie of Eddie's Reef Aquaria. Today's weekly video is on new acquisitions, new purchases that I got on four corals. Now if you follow me, you know the routine that I go ahead and I do an introduction of the uh, animals that I got. Then following weeks, I pick each individual animal and then I do a little research and I talk about the placements and all that. So today is that type of video. Today is, I'm going to show you what corals I got. Matter of fact, it's a total of four. One of them is an acro, uh, and the other three, of course, all of them, uh, all four are SPS, but one of them happens to be uh, an acropora. So let's take a deep dive, and I hope you enjoyed the video. Hold on. Okay, so the first coral that I'm showing to you uh, is the uh, purple stylo. In other words, purple stylopora. It's an SPS coral. So these type of corals, uh, I should place them between the middle quadrant and upper quadrant. I already have more or less an area where I think that I'm going to place it. Now, if you follow me, you've noticed on my previous uh, video that I did on placement and different things that you should know about reef keeping, where in my case, and I mean, this is me, the disclaimer, Eddie of Eddie's Reef Aquaria. What I do is I acclimate, this is just a recap of my previous video. What I do is I acclimate everything, uh, inverts, fish, and even corals. I know there's other people that don't. They just get the corals and they put them in the tank. They don't acclimate them or nothing. I happen to disagree with that and I uh, uh, acclimate all of them. So all corals, in this case we're talking about corals that I just purchased, I acclimate them with the, the drip method. Simply, I pour them all there with all the water that came in the bags, and I start the drip method, a, a constant drop, and when I see that that water, the volume is doubled, that's when I go ahead and I introduce them to the tank. So, again, this is a recap. So then what I do is I place them on the substrate, as you notice, except for one that I had to go ahead and place it where I'm going to put it, the acro. But I'll, I'll get to that uh, a little further on in the video but what I do is I place them on the substrate for two weeks you might even uh, I'd say one week be between one and two on that previous video I said for two weeks but if, in a situation that is like SPS and especially acros and all that I, I would say one week it's more than enough for temperature and all your water chemistry and all that so this is the first coral I thought I uh, show you now the second coral, uh, I know it's a little hard to distinguish because I have the organ pipe core on the back and it's also green, but it, on the front, it's a bird of paradise, bird's nest coral. Again, it's an SPS coral. Like I said before, I keep him here one or two weeks, acclimating for light uh, water chemistry, on and on. As a matter of fact, the Radeon that I have, the XR15 Pro, I haven't installed the, the fifth generation, the, the Radeon Blue, but even that one and this one, they have an acclimation mode. I don't do it because my question, and I've asked other people, and they say, hey, you know what, I've never thought about it, is if I go into the acclimation mode, yeah, it will bring down the lights for a period of two weeks, one week or two weeks, and then every day in increments, slowly it starts to acclimate. But then my $6 million question is, well, what about the corals you already have? Uh, the light is going to drop, and then it's going to start to go in increments. And especially, I mean, when it comes to softies and all that, you're good to go. But what about if you have acros? Uh, uh, that'll be an issue. So I, uh, so far, I've never used the uh, acclimation mode on my Radeon. I just go ahead and put them on the substrate, as you see. And then I just wait two weeks, maybe a week. And, uh, you know, for uh, temperature, chemistry, as I mentioned on the previous coral, and then I'll move them up. This one, I also more or less have an idea where I'm going to place it, which would be probably on the upper middle quadrant of the tank. And now we go to the third coral. Also, an SPS is right behind that brain coral. Uh, it's a Pavona cactus. I've had this one before. I had it, but it didn't do well. 
I believe that I might have, uh, I, I should have like moved it around. Honestly, my mistake, I didn't. And it didn't do that well. But I have hopes of it that it's, this one might do it because I'm feeding more um, supplements when it comes to the corals. I mean, I've changed my regimen when it comes to, to feeding, uh, which is a video that uh, I'm thinking of doing uh, soon of what do I actually feed my uh, corals. So that'll be coming up, so keep uh, an eye out uh, when it comes to that video. I'm, I'm thinking of it, of uh, show all of you out there what I actually feed all seven days, you know. But it's uh, back there, it's a uh, greenish, it, it's called cactus because it actually looks like, like a cactus plant uh, in the, in the worst, western area of the United States. And of course, it's of the family of Pavona, also SPS. This one I'm thinking of either uh, props inside, it didn't do well, you know, the previous one where I had it the higher end of uh, the mid range. So this one, I might place it way up there next, possibly next to the Monte Purple Cap. I'm thinking about it. I'm not sure yet. And now let's go to the grand finale, the Acro. Hold on. And here we are, Coral number four. It's an Acro. I don't know the name, to be honest with you. I wasn't paying attention. It's uh, like a purplish Acro. Um, I heard that these, these, this type of Acro actually is is hardier uh than you know the delicates like like uh, strawberry shortcake and all these other higher end expensive acros so i'm going to try this one it wasn't that expensive to be honest with you i think it was like 19 or 20 or 21 bucks so it's not no big a deal uh, you might say well eddie wait a minute you're talking about on the previous video and on this video you're talking about that you acclimate everything including uh corals but you put them on the substrate but why did you immediately put this one up there there's a reason why i don't know if you can tell closely but if you look okay if you look uh right okay there and then you see that little branch okay if you see the uh, plug is right there so as a matter of fact uh they had like two or three specimens of this animal but the others were uh, the um, the actual coral was a little bit smaller. So, I mean, for the same buck, for, for the same money, I got a more branching, more, I mean, more coral for the same price. The only thing was that it was branching out so much that then, as I'm mentioning before, here's the uh, plug. I know that more or less you can see it. So, so you have the coral coming out and then another little branch coming out. So I try to put it on the sand, but what happened is, if I put it on the sand, this big branch would actually like fall down uh, because of the weight and would actually be touching the sand. And I didn't want for those polyps to actually get affected or die. So I said, wait a minute, uh, what do I do? I try putting them, uh, you know, like uh, uh, against a little rock on the bottom to see if I could like anchor it for two weeks, but it always would keep falling back to the sand because that area as you see here, of course, it's bigger than this one, so it's got more weight, it's gonna fall. So I said, well, I'm gonna go ahead, and then I, I went and I, I glued it where actually it's uh, gonna be. If it makes it, it'll be nice because it's, it's coming out to the side, as you notice, it comes out to the side, and then hopefully this will actually um, grow, so you're getting like two corals in one. You're, you're getting that beautiful branch coming out, and a little branch coming out to uh, the side. Well, that's it. I hope you enjoyed the video. You found it interesting, educational, and fun. If you liked it, hit the thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. Now, next to the uh, channel subscription button, there's a little bell. That's the notification bell. So when you hit that, you'll activate your notifications on your device. And every time I upload a video, you'll be the first ones to know that Eddie's Reef Aquaria uploaded a video. And like I say at the end of all of my videos, happy reefing. Thank you for watching and until next time, bye bye.